Look at your hand. Now look at the room around you. Everything you can see, touch, and feel is a lie. Or at least it's less than 5% of what's actually there. There is an invisible universe all around you. It's a cosmic ghost. It's passing through your body, through the earth, through every atom, every second of every day. We can't see it. We can't touch it. But we can prove it's there. And the terrifying truth is, its gravity is the only thing stopping our entire galaxy from ripping itself apart. This invisible reality is called dark matter, and it represents the greatest mystery in modern physics. What is it? What does it want? And what does it mean that our entire existence is a tiny speck in a universe dominated by a silent, unseen entity? Welcome to Starlight Explained. And today, we're hunting for a ghost. Our story begins in the sprawling cosmic cities we call galaxies. Imagine the Andromeda Galaxy, our nearest giant neighbor, a breathtaking spiral of a trillion stars, gas, and dust. Conventional wisdom, derived from Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein, dictates how these massive structures should behave. The farther a star is from the galactic center, the slower it should orbit, because it feels less of the galaxy's gravitational pull. It's like planets in our solar system. Mercury zips around the sun much faster than distant Neptune. Simple physics. But in the 1970s, a brilliant American astronomer named Vera Rubin started meticulously measuring the rotation speeds of stars in distant galaxies. Her data didn't just contradict expectations, it shattered them. She found that stars on the outskirts of galaxies were orbiting just as fast or even faster than stars closer to the center. It was like watching a carousel where the horses on the outside were moving at the same speed as the ones in the middle. If these galaxies were only made of the stuff we could see, the stars, gas, and dust, they should have torn themselves apart long ago. The centrifugal force would have flung those outer stars into the cold, dark void of intergalactic space. Something massive, something invisible, was holding these galaxies together. Vera Rubin's groundbreaking work provided the most compelling evidence yet for what astronomers had tentatively theorized decades earlier. There must be an enormous amount of unseen mass, a gravitational glue, pervading galaxies and providing the extra gravitational pull needed to keep them intact. They called it dark matter. Not because it's literally dark in color, but because it doesn't interact with light at all. It doesn't absorb, reflect, or emit any electromagnetic radiation. It's utterly transparent, a phantom. And the scale of this phantom is truly mind-bending. Our universe, according to our best models, the Lambda CDM model, is composed of approximately 68% dark energy, 27% dark matter, and only a measly 5% ordinary matter, the stuff that makes up stars, planets, and us. This means that for every atom of your body, for every breath you take, there are five times as much of these invisible, unknown particles passing through you, utterly unnoticed. Your entire existence is a tiny bubble in a sea of cosmic ghost. The evidence for dark matter goes far beyond rotating galaxies. Imagine two massive galaxy clusters colliding at millions of miles per hour. This is the bullet cluster, one of the most dramatic pieces of evidence for dark matter. When these two clusters smashed together, the ordinary matter, the glowing gas, slowed down due to friction, like air resistance. But gravitational lensing, a technique where we use the gravity of massive objects to bend light, showed that the mass of the clusters, the source of their gravity, had passed right through each other, undisturbed. It separated from the gas. This implies that most of the mass, the dark matter, doesn't interact with itself or with ordinary matter, except through gravity. It's like two clouds of smoke passing through each other, while their invisible gravitational fields remain untouched. So if dark matter is everywhere, five times more abundant than everything we know, why haven't we found it? This is where the hunt becomes desperate. Scientists around the world are engaged in a monumental effort building extraordinary detectors deep underground, shielded from cosmic rays, trying to catch just one tiny interaction with a dark matter particle. The thinking is that if these particles have mass, 
they must occasionally bump into ordinary atoms, however rarely. Experiments like the Xenon T detector, located in an abandoned gold mine in Italy, use giant tanks of supercooled liquid xenon. If a dark matter particle were to ever collide with a xenon atom, it would create a tiny flash of light, a signal that could finally reveal its existence. But year after year, experiment after experiment, nothing. Just silence. It's like trying to catch a whisper in a hurricane. The leading theory for what dark matter could be involves a hypothetical particle called a WIMP, a weakly interacting massive particle. These WIMPs would be massive enough to exert gravitational pull, but so weakly interacting that they could pass through entire planets without leaving a trace. But with no direct detection, scientists are now exploring other, more exotic possibilities. Axions, ultra-light particles that could behave more like waves than particles. Sterile neutrinos, heavier, non-interacting cousins of the neutrinos we know. Even primordial black holes formed in the very early universe. Each failed experiment, while disheartening, refines our understanding, narrowing down the possibilities, pushing us closer to an answer. It's the ultimate cosmic detective story, where the suspect is omnipresent, but entirely unseen. The implications of dark matter are profound, shaping our universe in ways we are only beginning to grasp. Without it, galaxies wouldn't form the way they do. Our own Milky Way would be a chaotic mess, unable to hold itself together. Dark matter is the hidden scaffolding of the cosmos, providing the gravitational structure upon which ordinary matter, stars, planets, and us can coalesce. It's the reason you exist. What if we never find it? What if dark matter is truly beyond our current understanding of physics? What does it mean for humanity to live in a universe where the dominant form of matter is forever hidden from our perception, a ghost we can only infer? It forces us to confront the limits of our senses, the boundaries of our scientific instruments, and perhaps the very nature of reality itself. We are observers in a cosmic play where the lead actor is invisible, but its performance dictates everything. The hunt for the cosmic ghost continues, and with every passing moment, billions of these unseen particles pass right through you, whispering the universe's greatest secret.